This is LGD versus Team Secret. And, uh, of course, we just saw Team Secret play against Na'Vi. It was quite a convincing win for Team Secret. It was about a what a, it was a 30 minute GG, but uh, Navi weren't looking too great that game. Obviously, it's a bit of a hit having a player down. People saying that the combo didn't work out as well as it should have. But as you said, when the communication issues are there, it's always going to be very, very hard. Team mid lane, hello, maybe he's going to skew S4 back, but <laughs> S4's going to take the first blood there. That, that's uh, things working out very nicely for this bristle back mid lane. And I wanted to actually talk to you about that. Why is that? Is it kind of a very situational pick that he's picked directly against the Magnus? Oh, bottom lane, they're going to go in. Oh, yeah. Indeed, they are diving the tower. Yeah, I'll sit on 6 HP. He's looking for the aggressive charge back. The best defense is offense, but not in this case. He's going to go down. Now looking for Jai as well. Arteezy with a slow. Arteezy going in, going hard. Takes down the Lena as well. So, well, 3-0 to the side of Secret. Things going... Yeah, indeed, I guess, yeah, looking at the draft, in fact, as you said, it's it's a very nice lineup for Secret to have against Tiny Eye. Top lane and Zai might be in trouble. They're going to go straight in LGD and with the rotation in from Jai as well, helping out. Yeah, so it won't be easy. It's going to be a very... It very depending on positioning and stuff, whether you have what scouting the position of that especially because if you're relocating and you don't see that anymore, things could go wrong. Mid lane, they're going to expend the RP here, trying to catch out S4, but he's just so damn tanky here. Three points in the bristle bat passive. He might even be able to ward this one off. Xiao Ei coming to the rotation as well. There'll be a charge coming through. It won't be needed as the shockwave there from maybe Wolfie on the bristle bat. The charge is now going to get realigned onto Kuroki. Light strike away is going to miss though because of the bashes. It doesn't matter though because double kill goes to where Magnus as he finds them on the shockwave. Now Poppy with a black hole on to two, getting a double kill there for Arteezy. It ends up being a two for two trade and secret. Very nicely turning around what looked to be a very good 39 for 7. Obviously the shockwave yeah, spam helping him out. Bottom oh. lane, he's gonna hook shot. Oh, indeed, Zai there with the rotation, catching Yao right off with the follow-up split up, the lightning storm coming down. It's gonna be more than enough damage. And again, the secret just on top with rotations, yeah. and as you said, Zai making the best movement was... there. Catch him out, let's have a look if maybe can find him. He has got this blink dagger, so this will be the first reveal of the blink initiation from Magnus. Maybe if he can catch two, he's only gonna catch one, he's gonna be able to bring something back in. But the light striker ray misses, and now Puppy gets the back on to two. They will be able to bring down Zai. It's going to be a double kill for Xiao. Looks like Kuroki's going to be in trouble as well. No, he's going to pop the stick charge and keep himself alive. The Barrows is going to have a lightning storm. Holding LGD back and now Secret. They're trying to turn it down out. They take down the Spirit Breaker. It does end up being a two for one. I've got to be honest though, Winter. It looked like it got a hell of a lot worse for the side. Most key points to mention is, of course, Puppy doesn't have that black hole for this fight. Still uh, down after being used there in that bad little fight for Secret in their own jungle. Zai scanning out with a flare. Now the blink forward and very nice. There, maybe he's being able to secure back Zion. They're bursting him down before he could do anything. S4 now has gone to Jared. Lightning Storm coming for as well. And now the follow up, a split out there will enable them to find the return kill on Tamina. Now, charge from Yao onto Arteezy. Can they bring down Arteezy? He's fairly tanky here on this left track. There's going to be a toss as well. It's just not enough damage. There's your RP though. Catching Kuroki, Puppy, and Arteezy. But there's just not enough follow up damage. With a Voodoo Restoration and the fact that S4 is just going ham on the back lines of this fight. LGG just can't fight each other. It's going to be a double kill for S4. It is a 4 for one trade and winter i mean secrets team fight at this point even with lgd getting a three-man rp easy he's coming up to well he's over two thousand ahead of the position one or tiny maybe even more now she's trying to go in here with the lightning storm and the death one as well to xiao a. that's going to be another kill here for the left right they're going to look for yao as well they will find it there with the help of zai coming in with a hook shot another two kills for the side as secret and uh, it just looks like they're up here as well. Four heroes on the side of Secret, though, are in the jungle. And they might be ready to fight here, S4. Laying down the goo here onto the Lina. Rocket Flare coming out as well. Zai doesn't have the hook shot here for 25 seconds. The cast coming out, bouncy onto Lina. And look at the damage coming out from S4. There's going to be a killing spree for the Bristol Black. They're going to look to try and take that Silo as well. And Solo Black Hole just holding the Tiny in place. They want Silo. They will find him. He also actually ended himself in the Black Hole as well. He's trying to walk away, but S4 has already got the stacks onto him. There will be a relocate out protecting the Spirit Breaker. They did did manage to take down the clockwork, but they're going to lose a tier two here potentially. A fortification will come out. Maybe he's in the sidelines. He does have the RP available here. Kuroki just trying to keep him right back. And well, MMY will find the Tever across. Now maybe Blitz Four will get the score to Kuroki. Can they bring down the Witch Doctor? They can. They will find the kill down to Kuroki. So nicely played there by LGD. But they will lose this tier two here. And uh, oh, well, secret. I mean, do they go for more here? Winter looks like they might do with the Lightning Storm slow to three. Now the goo coming out to Magnus. He will be able to blink himself away. The split off is going to catch Xiao here on the. Spirit Breaker. He's being healed up by MMY. Is it enough? It looks like it is. MMY now allowing himself enough sustenance to get up to the high ground.
And now, well, like, oh, it's easy just run out of these lightning storms. It's, it's an absolute nightmare to play against. LGT they have all returned into the top lane. They really want to fight here with the Avalanche and Toss on to S4, but he's going to get Glimmer Caked up. Now just turn back around. Start with a hook shot straight on to maybe. Maybe we'll find the skill on to Zai. Bring it away for the rest of the team. Laguna Blade going out to the clock as well. They do bring down Zai here on the clockwork. S4, those on the front lines. He wants to go straight into space here, getting the hit onto the tower. Yao and Xiao Ai contemplating where they can go in. They're going to just throw out the Dragon Slave here onto the Bristleback. But secret, they're just standing on the high ground. Even though they're trading kills, they're just still able to push and, and, and they just don't need to back up. Yeah, they are just so far ahead just from the early game and having so much more items and the Bristol back just can't be killed. Just look yeah. at it, he's gonna take so much damage and Glimmer Cape is gonna be there all the time to save him. It's just a, I think Glimmer Cape is a really good... I guess did he pick them up this game because he realised he was being forced into these early fights and he just felt he needed something that was gonna help him when he turns up. Oh, hang on, it's easy to go out ahead of the solo RP with the Laguna Blade, Light Strike, everything being thrown out onto the Lestro. They do find a kill, the Chaos coming out, bouncing between Yao and maybe. Now s Boys trying to take Lina down, will be able to find it there with a Rocket Flare before Xiao A is able to TP out, so it does end up being a one for one, but... I'll... Every look at he's alone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see. Well, that's going to cancel the charge here. Uh, a little bit scared, obviously, of that uh, split of stun coming through. Now with Puffy rotating in the midnight, Pulse going to get laid down. Yeah, we'll get four staffed away here. RT's trying to chase this one down here with the Glimmer Cave. They're going to look for the stun again, and they will have enough damage here to bring down the Spirit Breaker. That is going to be another kill there for the side of Secret. Zai has turned up as well. He's 20 seconds away from that hook shot. Top lane, Silar just trying to continue to find this farm. He has got 1,300 on top of the point booster, but he could be in trouble now. Puppy trying to close in onto the gap here. Here we go with the Malphite onto Silar. Rotation from Silar is going to be able to walk it with the walking cogs. No, there's going to be the relocate. Out. That was but close. I think, yeah, I, I think I was in trouble here, isn't he, Winter? He almost cancelled the relocate with the cocks. So that was a really nice play from the cockwork. Oh, no, no, uh, yeah, man, what? He's, he's not going nowhere to go. He's going to go down there on the top lane. 90 to 10 at the moment. But uh, what's going to happen in mid lane? S4 just laying down the goo. He's got the backup of the rest of the team rotating in from the side he literally doesn't care. With the Glimmer Cape on yeah. RTZ. Very early days. And Secret finding and a lot of momentum. Even if they land a very good RP on 2 or 3 heroes, I'm not even sure if they can win the fight. I mean, that's, that's that is indeed the issue, you know, with the mechs, with the Vuda restoration, with the Guardian Greaves, you know, it's it's just so hard for the side of LGD. They're going to try it though here with an Everstrike on to RTZ, trying to bring it back to the fight. The Crimson Guard's been popped as well. Secret have literally got everything to fight with in this fight. Now they're looking for an RP, they'll find it on to RTZ, but the Skewer only catching S4, but very cheeky hookshot man coming from Zai. The Death One's been laid down as well. Now the Black Hole to MMY of Sila is going to be a two for one. There's a buyback here for the Magnus, double kill for the Kuroki. But as a side of Secret, just going to stand there. And look to finish off these racks, maybe seeing if you can find it in charge. On to S4, but it's going to get cancelled by the Malphys, and now with a split up as well. They're turning it around onto Yao. He can't run away from this one. It's a double kill for S4 here on the Bristol back. And Secret, I think they're ready to try and clear out this set of racks. LGD, they've got three heroes down, none with buyback available. Secret just slowly breaking away inside of the dire here. And, and this is going to be a set of racks in into uh, just 90 minutes in. They can just go back and take the rush after this if they want to. But they're gonna get S4 skewered in and Glimmer Cape. <laughs> just glimmers it out. That's Xiao Ai. See if he can find it. He can catch anyone out of the low strike array. Now Cassie's gonna get thrown in from the low ground. Secret, they might be ready to go back in. This one with the Malifus onto Scylla. There's gonna be the third way. Just get four staffed away here. The tiny's gonna be okay for the time being. But LGD just having a real nightmare trying to four staff and an urn. And uh, of course, finally, RTZ with the Glimmer Cape, 60 Bloodstone charges, boost of travel, 3.2k gold. That man's a little bit rich. Oh, indeed, they're trying to make something happen here, but Zai's going to be there with a the hookshot onto Yao, trying to stop this that from happening, and maybe the side of Secret can turn this one around, indeed, with a split up onto good old Jao and the Spirit Breaker. S4 popping the BKB, trying to go straight in onto the eye, bring him down before he can relocate back out of there, and he will go down. And now S4, he's just going to look to clean up here, he wants to try and find Yao as well. Yao with the ultimate here, bashing S4 back, but S4 trying to chase this one down, will find the Goose Connect, and should be able to pick this one up. Oh, no, the skewer from maybe, bringing S4 away, the arc as well, looking him down. Yao, he's turning up as well, the right way onto the two of them. They do look to play down at RTZ, can they find S4 as well, he's just too tanky, S4, he wants to keep trying to fight into this one, Zai trying to chase it down as well, Yao will find a little slight track right onto S4, now turning around with a toss, onto the Bristleback, they do bring down S4, that's a big kill there for Sila, getting the kill onto the Bristleback, and maybe they can find even more here, Kuroki, he's all alone here on the secret shop, tries to buy up, but he does still end up going down here, so all things said and done, LGD catching secret a little bit off guard there. They chain their spells correctly. Oh, S4. 
He's, he's going to find maybe here, and there's a wall. Well, oh, it's easy coming in as well with a shield as guard. We'll find the start to Sylar for only Avalanche out today. Support is going to be the lightning storm onto Sylar. He's being tapped up and will be relocated out here by the IO. They will be able to keep the Tiny safe here, yeah. but of course, it, I don't think they bring the Tiny back into this one. I mean, do, do you think, can the LGD try and fight into this? No, they are not going to try and fight into this. They're going to get out. Indeed, MMY will be the sacrificial lamb there for the team. I'll be able to clean that one up indeed. I mean, Rose Chance up. We haven't really seen any side try and contest it. Do you think this is the time for position? None of the cream wave is near tower, so they can't get objectives. So, Rose Chance is the next best thing for them. But, yeah, up against the RP, though, this could be dangerous for them. If they can RP. Yeah, this is the question, isn't it? If, uh, if maybe can do something big here with the plays. It's getting low. And well, he's actually going to blink down because there's been a bit of a distraction caused by Zai, but I think he's going to be happy losing his life there. I think that was a bit of a, a kind of a bait just to pull LGD away from the pit because just on. Oh, RP. Oh, indeed. They've caught S4 out, and they get, that's a very nice pickup for LGD. Throwing these kills away because oh, yeah, they might the real more. Game. Yeah, look at this, indeed. Trying to cut off Sai. Sai will be able to get the cocks out. That's himself four stuffed up to the high ground. Puppy with the Malefist onto Yao. Can the side of Secret find to this one? There's going to be a buyback from S4. Lightning Storm's not coming out to MMY. Tempers himself across, and he will go down. Puppy pops down the black hole, which will catch out Yao on the sidelines. They're found to, and Zai now hooks on again. They want to find more. Xiao is the target. Will be able to get himself out of the cocks here. There's going to be a light strike rank coming down onto Zai. Arteezy moving in, looking for the stun. Won't be able to find it. Zai just tossing the creeps back onto Puppy. Avalanche onto Arteezy. Maybe he goes forward, gets the skew onto Puppy, bringing him right into the base. Puppy gets the Malefice out onto Sylar. There's going to be a Crimson Guard popped by the side of Secret. Now the charge from Yao will be cancelled. He doesn't want to run straight into this one. The fortifications come out from the side of LGD. Can they find anything else here? Maybe he's looking for some kind of action. Has got the skewer for 15 seconds. Lightning Storm just being spammed out from RTZ, keeping the side of LGD away. It looks like they will lose this tier 3 into the mid lane and Secret, where well, they're ready to start to pressure on to the racks here as well. Of course, RTZ worth noting still has that ages for this fight. There's going to be the Never Strike onto RTZ, but the Death Force being laid down for the low ground. And look at it go! Tiny goes down. They lose the Spirit Breaker as well. Tiny will buy back straight away. But with the BKB bot by S4, Secret will be ready to continue to go ham onto these racks. Maybe looking for a pickup here with the skewer. Isn't going to find anyone. They've lost the range racks in the mid lane. They're going to lose the melee racks as well here. And well, the quick question is, does Secret want to keep fighting here? S4 is still on full health. He's just going to head down to the bottom lane, look to take this tier 2 almost certainly with the side of Secret and, and uh, over just, 20 they just, need to, they just need to send like the latch on in front and make sure no one else gets caught by the RPA because he's the one having the Aegis, so that's like the, the way they can take that last risk. Oh, look at this. Zai wants to go straight in. Hook shot up to the high ground. RTZ with the Sheba's gone onto Xiaowei and Zala finding the stun as well onto the Lina. Lina will be able to get herself out there with the help of MMY, but Secret just forcing LGD right back so they can get some damage done to the tower. Now we'll find the ultimate there onto Puppy. Charge for onto Zai, but the McCarty Increase will be popped by Puppy, giving us that bonus. Heal indeed. Zyla and the Lunaguna Blade will be able to bring down Kuroki. So that's a big kill there for the side of LGD, but they do lose the IO. Because hang on, what's RT? He's, doing? Oh, he's just working around the back lines here, trying to find the big offs. Xiao will be able to force some stealths down to the low ground. The fight continuing here, by the bottom lane. Maybe finding the skewer, but S4 and Puppy both popping the BKBs. Puppy's got the black hole in 12 seconds, but he might not even need it. They've already taken down the tiny in the eye. They're looking for Yao here as well. Light strike away from Xiao. It will hold back both Puppy and Arteezy, but it's just creating space for Secret to mega creep the side of LGD. For 29 minutes in, there's going to be <laughs> Puppy. Just, uh, I, think, I think he thinks it's over then. It is indeed. GG is called by the side of LGD and well, Secret, they got their foot in the door from the start. They managed to get their lead and did a lot with it. I've got to be honest though, Winter, as you were saying, there was a couple of blunders, a few mess ups where it looked like the side of LGD were still able to fight even though they were quite far behind. But I don't know, man. What, what, what have you got to say about